Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plan Obsessed, and uh, I know a lot of people are like, Plan Obsessed, and yet it's about worms. Uh, so there is a plant obsession going on, and the worms are helping. But this is what uh, the worms also feed. So I will give you a little look. I have some hybrid Phalaenopsis orchids. Just a couple of them are in bloom so far. This one we're waiting on. This one we're waiting. Up here, this one is having babies. You see a really faint, pale, yellow on yellow orchid, but then one, two, three, four baby orchids on this mama. This one, there's a brand new spike coming up here. I probably won't get to see that until December. This one I have not seen that we have a spike yet. Usually it comes from the second set of leaves in here. And I do not see any a new spike, but we do have the old spike, so maybe we'll get some more out of that one. This one just finished its latest blooming, but the canes are still nice and hard. And um, so we might actually get more flowers out of that one. So that's one of the things that I do. All right, I'm going to take you over to the indoor plant slash bonsai bench. One. Okay, so here we are over on the bench. I have a mandevalia that is still happily in bloom right now. I've got my chefleras. These are my avocados that my worms grew me. This is a little worse for the wear um, mango tree. As we go through, this is a tiger bark ficus. Kind of peeking in on top here, we have a variegated chefflera. Um, this is a jasmine plant back here. Can't really see it super great. This is what is called a Fukian tea. I didn't name it, but that's what it's called. More tiger bark ficus. Then we go up to the next shelf, and we have my collection of succulents. So I've got a regular jade here. This is a golem jade. This is a slightly out of sorts Portulacara afra, which I think they call miniature jade or something. It's got the little tiny leaves. And then in the back here, I have my ponytail plants, which I gave a haircut when I bring them inside because a lot of bugs and whatnot live inside the ponytails. And so when I bring them in for the year, they get a haircut. So she's a big one. I've got a couple of smaller ones. Wait, no! Good thing jades are in their pots super good. So I've got a couple of smaller ponytail plants back there. More jade, more jade. These are some cuttings that I've been rooting for the Portulacara Afra and yield aloe. But then back there, I've been trying to bonsai an aloe. I don't know how if that's going to work or not, but, you know, if you don't try, you don't know. All right, over to the last place over here. Okay, over to this part, and this is another jade. This one was outside when it got pretty cold, and it's got kind of a blush on the leaves. Uh, it's the first time it's happened, so I don't know what to think about that. Um, over here is my Christmas cactus, or Thanksgiving cactus, or whatever's happening. It's 5th of November cactus. Then we have this nice little fluffy thing. I'm not really sure what this is. Some kind of a fern. It's got some succulent roots down here. Um, not really sure what it is. I've had this going for quite a few years. This I've had for probably 10 years. All right, on to the next part. And into the windsill, window sill here. These are the 
These are actually tropical evergreen bonsais, pretty bonsais in this case. Here is my cascade juniper. Seems to be doing lovely. And just zooming over here across the porch. Oh yeah, guess what I found out? I found out that this particular kind of ping, uh, or pinguicula lutea, uh, likes to be wintered. So I have to put her outside. So much for eating the bugs over the winter for me. Uh, but maybe I'll find a Mexican butterwort, or uh, pinguicula. On to the basement. Okay, here we are in the basement. I brought my fig tree in. It's gone dormant. Um, it's its first year. I was a little hopeful I might get figs. There are little figlets. I don't know if they'll make it through the year or if they'll fall off or make it through the winter. Um, here is my overwintering peppers. Here's Grandpa Pepper. He's on the inside again. And here are some more peppers that I'm overwintering. The whatever it is that's in the basement has been digging in them. Um, no luck in catching whatever it is on camera or in a trap. I'm not really sure, short of buying a really mean, terrible cat, what I'm going to do uh, to get whatever it is in the basement. And this is my yellow hibiscus. It's actually my husband's yellow hibiscus, but I take care of it for him. Then on this side of the basement, we have my angel wing begonia that the whatever it is dug up. I'm going to have to repot that and put that upstairs. I don't know what's going on there. And here are the rest of the peppers that I'm going to try and overwinter downstairs here. We'll see. Some of them made it, some of them didn't last year. But the grandpa pepper is going on year, next year will be his fourth year. All right, guys. Well, if you like this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. And if you're not already a member of my worm family and plant family, give that a thumbs up. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring the little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and my peppers. And everybody, have a good day.